try this problem. Here we have an object that, uh, again, has an acceleration that's pointing straight to the left. This acceleration is pointing straight to the left. I hope you gave that a shot. We need to break the velocity into components. We draw a right triangle that has the overall velocity as its hypotenuse. We label v sub x and v sub y. And we have to put in arrows. I hope that you're drawing arrows on each triangle. Uh, I hope that um, you're not trying to do these problems in your head. Even if you're finding these easy, you should not be doing them in your head. You should be doing them on paper because our goal is to build good notational habits. Try to do these on paper and build good notational habits. The overall vector here is pointing up and to the left. So we have arrows pointing up and to the left. And then we know that horizontally we're moving left. And vertically we're moving up. Uh, now, our acceleration vector is pointing straight to the left. That means that there's no vertical component. There's no vertical component at all. The entire acceleration is all x components. So we can write that like this. No vertical component, all x components. So horizontally, our horizontal acceleration is left, and our horizontal velocity is left. So our horizontal speed is increasing. Our horizontal speed is increasing because horizontally, the horizontal velocity is parallel to the horizontal acceleration. V sub x is pointing to the left, and A sub x is also pointing to the left. A sub x here is the same as the overall acceleration. Uh, how about vertically? Well, vertically, again, we see that we have zero vertical acceleration. That doesn't mean we're not moving. It means the speed isn't changing. So our vertical speed is constant. How would you know when you're not moving? Well, remember, it's the velocity that tells you how you're moving. It's when the velocity is zero that you're not moving. When the velocity is zero, you're not moving. When the acceleration is zero, it just means that your speed isn't changing. Okay, so we're moving to the left with an increasing horizontal speed and moving up with a constant vertical speed. We can say one other thing here. I kind of drew this as an exaggerated vector, so you can kind of see we're moving both left and to the up. But which, which um, component is more prominent here? You can see that we actually do not have very much horizontal velocity. So our vertical speed is going to be a lot greater than our horizontal speed. You can see from the triangle that the vertical leg is much longer than the horizontal leg. So our vertical speed is going to be much greater than our horizontal speed. We're moving left and to the up, but we're moving upwards faster than we're moving leftwards. On the other hand, the horizontal speed is increasing. So even though right now we're not moving leftward very quickly, eventually we're going to be moving leftward much more quickly than we were. So right now we're moving to the left slowly, but that's increasing. So eventually we're going to be moving left more quickly. On the other hand, the velocity here, the vertical velocity, is constant. Um, so if things maintain the same constant acceleration, and remember that in these videos we're focusing on constant acceleration, so if this acceleration stays constant, eventually the horizontal speed is going to catch up to and pass the vertical speed. Right now the vertical Right now, the horizontal speed is less than the vertical speed, but the horizontal speed is increasing and the vertical speed is not. So eventually, if we maintain the same constant acceleration, eventually our horizontal speed is going to be greater than our vertical speed. Both of these arrows are pointing to the left. This arrow is pointing straight to the left, and this arrow is also pointing straight to the left. Um, so try to write down everything you can about this object. Well, we don't have to break either of these vectors into components because they already only have one component. You can see that the overall velocity just has an x component. The y component here is 0. There is no y component. The overall velocity is the x component. And the same deal over here. The overall acceleration is the same as this x component. There is no y component. So what do we know about horizontal motion? We know that we're moving left. Moving left, and now the vertical velocity here is zero, so vertically we're motionless. Vertically we're motionless. We're moving to the left, but we're not moving up or down. We're moving to the left, but we're not moving up or down. 
We're moving horizontally, but not vertically. Now, how about our acceleration over here? Well, um, the x acceleration is parallel to the x velocity. So um, our horizontal speed is increasing. a sub x is parallel to b sub x, so our horizontal speed is increasing. And um, our um, vertical speed here is not changing. We know our vertical speed is constant. What's it constant at? Zero. We know that we're vertically motionless, and that's not going to be changing, so we know that vertically um, we have a constant speed of zero. Our vertical speed is constant at zero. How do we know it's constant? Because the vertical acceleration is zero. And how do we know the vertical speed is zero? Um, because the vertical velocity is zero. So again, how do we know that the vertical velocity is constant? Because the vertical acceleration is zero. And how do we know that the vertical velocity is um, constant at zero? Because the vertical velocity is zero. Um, so it looks like this object is not moving vertically, and it's not going to start moving vertically either. Remember that sometimes it's possible to be motionless just for an instant. If you're changing direction, you're motionless but just for an instant. But that's not what's happening here. This is not just vertically motionless for an instant. It looks like it's pretty much permanently motionless vertically. 